Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Phoenix Pendant. This is from Hubberton Forge's Synchronicity Collection. Synchronicity is a collection of Hubberton Forge fixtures that incorporate things like cast glass, cut crystal, beautiful heavy lead crystal. We'll talk about this in just a bit. This is the 139866. Let's get into detail. So, when we talk about the size of the fixture body itself, that's going to be independent of what it's hanging from, which is going to be adjustable rain, uh, ranges and, and telescoping pipes in this case. So the size of the fixture itself is 29 inches tall, 50.9 inches wide, 36.3 inches in depth. So this is a very good sized fixture. When we talk about overall height, we're talking about from the bottom of the fixture to the ceiling itself. And, and you're going to have three different adjustable ranges. There's a pull down menu up there over on that side of the screen. And that's going to be measured again from the bottom of the fixture to the ceiling. If you're familiar with Hubberton Forge, they have a patent on this whole telescoping rod system where you have a smaller rod telescoping into a bigger rod like an umbrella handle. It has a set screw and a hex nut right here. Inside of this is hiding a friction sleeve. So what you're going to be doing is during your installation, you can bring this up and down to get it where you want it to be. And then when you're ready, you just tighten it with this little uh, hex wrench right there. You can barely see it and it keeps it from going up and down. So those three adjustable ranges are going to be the short is going to be 36 to 38.7, which is not a huge range. Standard is 39.3 to 44.5. Long is 44.8 to 55.8. So if you need shorter than the short or longer than the long, send me an email. We do customs all the time. You, what you would say is I'm looking at the 139866. I need it to be X. And, and remember, the height of the fixture body itself is 29 so I don't think you're going to be able to go dramatically shorter than 36 however you can definitely go longer than the 55.8 so that's not a problem so in the email tell me what you're looking for I send it over to Hubberton Forge it goes through some engineers comes back to us and then we can quote it out to you okay so uh, this is slope ceiling adaptable to 45 degrees there's a knuckle on the top of three of these that go up into a triangular canopy it's going to be able to hit your slope like that, and then remember it's, it's a knuckle that moves, so it can go flat too, for those of you with flat ceilings, which is going to be the majority of you. Okay, that canopy on the ceiling is a 10 by 10 by 10 triangle, goes over your standard junction box. So what you guys have in the ceiling, hopefully, is this. Talk to your installer about that. This is coming in at 24 pounds, so it just hangs from a regular junction box without any problem at all great way for you to see a lot of details about this is to look at the installations instructions and, when, and you can find those on our website on the page for this fixture over on this side of the screen midway down a couple links over there it's going to say click here for installations instructions PDF so open that up for me it is going to show you how everything goes together very simple it's going to show you what the canopy is all about and how it goes on your junction box and you can take that link and email their, that over to your installer so they have a pretty good heads up on what to expect okay so let's talk about uh, the crystal on this, which is incredibly beautiful. This is really, I don't know if you can see how thick that is. This is really heavy, thick, hand-cut crystal, fire-polished. Hubberton Forge sources only the, the finest components when they're, when they're uh, using them with their, their fixtures. This is really, if you could really feel that weight of this. See how heavy that is? It's, it, this is not lightweight stuff. Anyway, so um, what you can put into this is going to be, well, what you can see is you have six of these type B. These are the smaller chandelier sockets. And you can go up to 60 watts incandescent in each one of them if you want to. Or you can do what I'm doing, which is we have, uh, we actually, this is off a different fixture, but um, you can see, you can put a decorative light bulb in that. This is a flame tipped LED that I probably got at one of the big box stores or maybe on Amazon. You can also use this torpedo shape. You know, your only caveat is like, can I get the bulb into the fixture itself? So anything you want to put in there. But since it's a clear piece of glass, I would definitely go for something on the prettier side, possibly something like this, like a little flame tip. So I, can, I know this is pr because those two little prongs in there are probably telling me this is probably about a 20 watt equivalent. This guy's probably about a 40 watt equivalent. You can find these easily in up to 60 watt equivalent online or in any hardware store if you guys, that you guys go into. And it's a dimmable fixture. If you're going to use LEDs, just tell your installer that you're doing that so they put in the right dimmer for LEDs, okay? And again, there's no limit for what, when you're doing LEDs for equivalents. It's really just about, can I get the bulb in there? Because they don't generate much heat at all. You can also uh, play around with the color temperature, don't forget. Some people like that bright, crisp white light doctor's office light that's like 4,000 5,000 Kelvin 
I tend to prefer that kind of warmer light. This is the light coming down on my hand. This is a uh, 3000 Kelvin, so that's the considered warm white. It's really up to you what you guys do. Not a big deal. And, and the bulbs are so inexpensive, you can play around with them too. So there you go. Okay, let's move on to finishes on this. Over on this side of the screen, you're going to see a finishes help guide. Check that out. There's a uh, video about finishes. It's also a chart below it. You can see that over here. That chart is going to be uh, talking about finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. Um, there's pictures with the letter A on them. There's pictures with the letter B on them. And that's going to be talked about in the video. So watch the video, use the chart, and you'll get totally up to speed on the finishes on this. Uh, I think that's really about it on this fixture because uh, you have no choices on glass. It's really just uh, your choices on the stem length and your choices on finish. And, and that's really about it. You know, in our showroom in Vermont has over 400 Hubbardson Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We have the biggest showroom in the world of Hubbardson Forge. They use this as their showroom when you guys come to Vermont. Showrooms open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern if you guys want to call. 802-446-2400. Love to hear from you via email, and you can do that at sales at handmadeinvermont.com. You can email 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and we always answer that. Uh, our showroom also has a great clearance center. So clearance center stuff is returns, discontinued stuff, and showroom samples, 75% off MSRP. Amazing bargains. If you're going to visit us, bring a vehicle that can take stuff home like a SUV or a small truck or something like that, because you never know what you're going to find, just, just so you know. When you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii, and there is no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. We're the only dealer with 90-day returns, no restocking fees on most items. Some larger items are going to be non-returnable. We'll always tell you about that. It'll be under those description areas on the page, so keep an eye out for that. We also offer a rush program. So Hubbardson Forge doesn't stock anything. It generally takes about three to four weeks to get product out. That's because how you're going to get all your ranges and finishes to play with. We can take that three to four weeks and cut that down in half to a little under two weeks. It's very inexpensive. If you want to know more, just drop me a quick email and I can take care of it. Okay? Thanks for stopping in today. We'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.